Nearly one week after the death of a McKeesport police officer, loved ones in the community are showing their support for the fallen officer. KDKA's Lauren Linder is in Brentwood with more. It was a difficult day for family and friends of Officer Sean Slagansky as they started to say their final goodbyes here at the John F. Slater Funeral Home in Brentwood. A source close to the officer tells me inside it was hard to not break down as he saw the officer's one-year-old daughter. This whole area has been robbed of an amazing person. It's emotional for police officer Mike Wiley to think about the loss of his brother in blue, Officer Sean Slagansky. He was so young and so full of life and just terrible. This past Monday, a man fired a gun at Slagansky and his partner with the McKeesport Police Department, Charles Thomas Jr. 32-year-old Slagansky died from his injuries. Thomas Jr. was hurt but survived. Days later, family, friends, and members of the community are paying their respects to the fallen officer. Officer Wiley was one of them. He's currently with Centerville Borough, but spent four years with him on the Charleroi Regional Department before Slagansky joined the force in McKeesport in 2020. We were a close little group and, you know, down in Charleroi, and it's like a family, and it's like we lost a family member. Wiley says you couldn't ask for a better person to work with. No matter how bad a situation is or, or was, he was just, he had a positive attitude. And that Slagansky loved his job and truly cared about those he served. He was dedicated to the community. He was dedicated to the department. That was the case until the very end. George Dobus Jr. lived two doors down from where the shooting took place. I heard it from the start and I saw the aftermath of it. So I just felt, just felt bad for the family in general. Even though he didn't know Slagansky, it was important for him to show his support. Someone who cares appreciates what, you know, what the police officers do in the, in the city. As McKeesport and beyond, honor their officer and make sure his legacy lives on. This is a tragic loss for the community and the area, all of us. Visitation continues tomorrow from 2 to 8. For now, reporting in Brentwood, Lauren Linder, KDK News. With the large outpouring of support for Officer Slagansky's visitation, shuttles will take visitors to Slater's funeral home. Visitors are asked to park at the old Benson Lincoln dealership on Route 51 in Whitehall. And a reminder, the funeral is set for this Tuesday and it is not open to the public. But if you wish to pay your respects on Tuesday, the funeral procession will go through McKeesport. You're asked to line these streets at 2 in the afternoon. And it's important to note several school districts are adjusting schedules on Tuesday due to the funeral. McKeesport area students will offer pre-recorded online learning. The South Allegheny schools will have a flexible instruction day and the Baldwin Whitehall districts will be remote. These districts were advised by police it wouldn't be safe to transport students during the funeral.